Hello, Michael. Welcome to Wake Up with Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Great to be here. So the undoing. Yep. I, first of all, I have to tell you, it's, it's amazing. And it was so exciting to see you up on the big screen. Oh, thank but, you. Glad you liked it. So you have a reoccurring role as Detective O'Rourke. And I, I was just so curious, what was it like working with Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant and, you know, such a, an incredible series? How was that for you? It was insane. I would love to say that I was cool and relaxed and just, you know, I remained professional at all times. But no, I was starstruck, especially in the beginning. I was, I was completely starstruck. But I will say that that ended quickly because once you really start acting in a scene with someone like Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant, but most of my scenes are, are with Miss, Miss Kidman, everything just disappears. And she brings you completely into the scene. And, uh, I, and I, I even stopped. I thought, OK, I've stopped being starstruck. And I'm now in the scene. And, and uh, she she takes you right there and you're forced to be present and, and it was uh it was, it was an incredible experience of course that's really cool right to to work with such a professional like that to be able to do that yeah so, and i took away so much as an actor i mean i can't yeah. thank her enough yeah exactly so you actually were in law enforcement for 22 years was it, yeah. was it the, right before you retired, you were a detective for what, seven, eight years with the NYPD? I forget what I mean. Well, I was a detective sergeant, never actually a detective. I was promoted to sergeant and then detective sergeant in 2015, uh -huh. I think. So somewhere around there. And I finally, uh, this year in 2020, I, I, I pulled the plug and I figured with each passing year, I'd seen everything. But with 2020, I thought I'd seen enough. So I pulled the plug. It was also good timing. You know, I had the undoing coming out. So I, I thought it was really, it was, it was eventually time to focus fully on acting because I've been doing both for, for almost two decades. Incredible. So when you were playing detective, were you tapping into past experiences to like bring it to life? I did try that because I really, uh, the, the style of this project is, is extremely real. And as, you, as you've seen, the, the, the camera is so close up. So it had to be done with as yeah. little acting as possible. The moment you started acting, it would, it would look silly. So I tried to return to, mm. to my past as a detective, and I really tried to place myself in those scenes. And even during real interrogations or real interviews, you have the questions often scripted out. So the, the lines would, would always become very blurred. And even, you know, I had my training in acting came in very handy in the police department, and now my training in the police department came in very handy in, handy in acting. So I think the undoing was sort of the crossroads of all of that. So more to more succinctly answer your question, I did return to my training and I really, at, at times I felt like I was more cop than I was, than I was more acting. Right. Well, you were a cop, right? So I love that. I mean, I'm yeah. sure it was, I don't want to say easy, but it, it really does help to have that experience. And I would love to know also like, what took you to acting? Well, acting came first. And, and uh, it, was, it was like so many actors, I can always say I was in the school plays and that led to the community theater and eventually college. And I went to, to college for it. My degree is in acting. So I was out of college, fully focused on becoming an actor. And then out of left field, I don't know where it came from. There was, there was some higher calling. I was around 26, this was 1998. And, you know, my father was a federal agent. My grandfather was a detective in the NYPD. And as much as I originally tried to steer as far away from that as possible, not intentionally, yeah. I just didn't have the calling. But when I was 26, my, my blood chemistry <laughs> pointed me back in that direction. So uh, I, I decided to become a cop. And then it wasn't until later that I returned to acting. Wow. So, you know what? Incredible that you had the opportunity to do both. Yeah. Right, we don't have to do one thing in this life. So, I want to talk about that ending. How was that? Mm. I'm not saying anything. So, <laughs> right, we can't do any spoilers. You haven't seen right? it, huh? We can't do any spoilers, right? So we have to no spoilers. No, no spoilers. spoilers. Okay. But how was that for you? Because that was intense. Well, it it was intense shooting in it because we know we started shooting in March, and by the time we got to the bridge, which we shot in the very last week of shooting, that was, I think, end of June. So it was, A, it was very hot out, but it was just so epic in scale. And then, you know, it's funny, all my cop friends, I keep getting messages saying, hey, you know, I saw you're running across that bridge. 
You're quite the athlete, aren't you? So there's literally three, there's three seconds of me running across the bridge, but apparently I, I was not the most graceful of a runner. So, but it, the shooting it entailed a lot of running. We, we probably shot that 20 times and I'm in a suit in June and I'm wearing loafers and, um, but it, we had so much fun and I have to hand it to, to Miss Kidman too. We did that take so many times and she ran full out across that bridge all day long. And wow. It had to be high 90 degrees. And, and so, you know, my, my respect for her was just never ending. But everyone that everyone just put put everything they had in, in, you know, in, into taking it home. Well, it's an incredible series. So I hope everyone, you know, takes the time to see it. And I love that things are on demand so we can see it. <laughs> yes. So as you know, when it when it was first released on HBO, people had to wait a week and it was driving people insane. But now you can binge all day long. Exactly, which I love. So tell me, you're all, you're also a musician. You have an album coming out, is that correct? I do, it's my second album. I released an album in 2011, which actually did surprisingly well, but uh, I've been working for the past 10 years on the second album because you know, I've, I've been busy at yeah, my full-time job. So in my free time, I was recording this album, but it's, it's finished and I'm probably gonna release it spring, summer of next year. That's so exciting. Well, Michael, let me tell you, you're doing so many amazing things. And thank you for coming on Wake Up With Marcy. Thank you. And thank you so much for having me. It was such a pleasure, Marcy. Well, continued success. And I can't wait to see what's next for you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.